Okay, ladies, so I came on so that I could speak to you about um, my hair. I actually uh, went out tonight uh, for a pre-Valentine's dinner, and I washed my hair, and I lightly uh, blew my hair out uh, with the blow dryer so that I could stretch my hair, and also I have been experiencing uh, a huge amount of shedding and dryness and I know that I am doing the 92 day challenge that will end on April 1st however I'm finding that I'm experiencing a huge amount of shedding and dryness and I'm not sure if it's the products that I've been using I recently went back to the mane and tail and the mane and tail is um a protein based shampoo and conditioner that is used for um, horses and a lot of human use as well so I recently went back to that and I realized that my hair had gotten very hard and very dry um, from that week and I had forgotten that when you are using shampoos and conditioners that have a protein base, you have to uh, have an intensive uh, moisturizing treatment that you do immediately following um, those uses. So that was something that I kind of forgotten about. I haven't used the main until in a while, and I wasn't quite, um, I wasn't realizing that I needed to do a deep con conditioner immediately afterwards. So, because I experienced so much dryness and shedding, kind of freaked out a bit. I wasn't sure exactly what uh, was causing that. I know that the weather has a great deal to do with the dryness and the shedding as well. But uh, I lightly blow dry my hair tonight just because I was actually going out to dinner along with um, just wanting to see what was going on with my hair, with my scalp to make sure I hadn't done anything wrong. Um, so I will keep my hair stretched for approximately two weeks. I find that when I stretch my hair that uh, it lasts longer and that's a great thing. I don't have to wash it as much. I don't have to manipulate it as much. So I will braid my hair tonight um, and moisturize it. And I washed my hair uh, with the Argon, no, with the Shea Moisture uh, Shea Butter Shampoo. I believe that's right. And I deep conditioned it with the Argon Oil Moisture Repair Shampoo, I mean, uh, conditioner. So I did that and um, it came out pretty good. Again, I need to um, make sure that I am infusing as much moisture as possible over the next two weeks uh, to my hair because, again, as I stated, the mane and tail was very drying to my hair. I'm not going to stop using it. I just know that I need to use it with a deep conditioner. So, as I stated, I went out tonight. I went out for pre-Valentine's Day dinner. Uh, just to show you a close-up of my face, I did a pink smoky eye. And I used uh, half lashes. And I'm really uh, enjoying the half lashes. It seemed to create a more dramatic look um, in the eye or in the corners of the eye. Um, recently got my eyebrows cleaned up and I am wearing a pink lip and also a pink nail. My jewelry, as I stated previously, is Vera Wang and it is from Kohl's. And I also have the studded earrings that I've been wearing lately for a more simple uh, classic look. So, oh, and I also have on this uh, leather cuff uh, with black rhinestones on it. So I have on this tube dress. Got this tube dress from Burnaby a long time ago. 
and uh, that's about it so hopefully uh, you enjoyed this look um, again I just needed to stretch my hair out just to see what I was working with in terms of um, if I had done something wrong to cause dryness and shedding um, but it looks like it's normal it's a normal process along with the fact that I use a protein based mane and tail conditioner and shampoo without doing an intensive moisture treatment afterwards. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.